welcome to Merrick's Garage. When I built my K5 Blazer, I knew it was going to be an awesome vehicle for road trips, family adventures, four-wheeling, camping, you name it. I also knew there was going to be some issues regarding storage and space. So a while back, I started researching trailer options never really happy with all the options I came across in terms of the overlanding trailer and the, the general use trailers. So I decided if I can't find it, I'm going to build it. So today, I'm heading down south to pick up an M1101A3 military trailer. A 2008 Silver Eagle to be exact, and I'm fired up. I was hoping to get down here in the light so you guys could check this beast out but fortunately my two million lumen light bar is getting some use to that. This is Chris's truck. You're gonna meet Chris in a minute and I'm buying my trailer from him. He's got a bitchin truck that has I think it's a, a hybrid motor. I'm not sure but I think it's a hybrid German motor under there. Something like that. He'll clarify in a minute but uh, let's check it out. And this is my buddy Chris who I am picking up the M1101A3 trailer from and he just came back with what we're calling big ass truck. Why don't you tell us about your big ass truck? It definitely is a big ass truck. It is. It's a 1985 M923A1 five ton military truck. This is the flatbed model. It has an 855 14 liter Cummings diesel on there. 14 liters. 14 liter diesel. That's, that's silly. It gives you about four gallons per mile. It's very good on the road. And of course, it's very small and in camo, so most people don't even see you drive by. Of course not. It's tiny. That's why you've got the flag, so people can see you. Absolutely. It's, yeah. it's for safety. Safety. Um, and what, uh, what are your plans with this? Good question. Uh, it can do just about anything I wanted to do. So one idea was to throw a camper on the back or build a camper on the back. Yes. So I'm kind of working on those plans. If I want to do like a Connex, do a custom Connex trailer where I can load it and then unload it and use the flatbed for something else. Awesome. The sides and rear all fold down. So you just use a, a platform, stage, whatever you want to use it for. And this is uh, in place of the earth roamer. You're not going to spend $400,000 on an earth roamer, huh? Not yet. Because this has six wheels. A uh, 10. Ten wheels! Oh, I'm getting all excited. Fire it up! <laughs> America! Well, we're on the road. Got a trailer in the back. Sorry, it's not uh, daylight, so I can't show it to you, but you're gonna have to trust me. It's pretty bitchin'. So, I uh, got a little bit of a road trip to make here, but uh, check in tomorrow, and I should have some uh, sweet, sweet new military hardware. Made it home in one piece. Truckosaurus did great. Trailer, pleasantly surprised how quiet it was. Not too much noise coming from the pintle hitch. Hookup was fairly easy. My Harbor Freight brake light stayed in place and I didn't get pulled over. It is in excellent condition for a military trailer. The M1101 trailer was my choice for my expedition overlanding camping trailer platform. Really, really solid construction, high ground clearance, great approach and departure angles, and great carrying capacity. There's tons of room back here. I can uh, carry everything I need and more. The canopy will be removed as I plan on building a rack system for my rooftop tent I plan on putting on here. 
but you can see the inside of this thing is huge. Not just big, it's yeah. The clearance down below is fantastic. It's gonna give me a probably similar clearance to what I've got from Truckosaurus up front, which is what I wanted. I hope you enjoyed the pickup and delivery of my M1101 trailer. I'm really excited about this. It's the next generation of the Truckosaurus build, the camping trailer and expedition trailer to take us out in the backcountry deeper and longer. So stay tuned. As always, if you liked what you see, please subscribe. I'll check you later.